Hello, good afternoon. Let me show you the simplest way to solve a cubic equation by factorization. First thing you need to do is to find one of the roots of this cubic equation by testing some integers. Okay, first of all, let us test one and see whether it is going to satisfy this equation. So f of positive one, this is equal to one to the power of three is one. 1 to the power of 2 is 1 times 2 is still 2 minus 5 times 1 is 5 minus the constant. If this equal to 0, this is what we want to test for. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Negative 2, negative 6 is negative 8, which is not equal to 0. Then we test for x equal to negative 1. f of negative 1, this is equal to negative 1 to the power of 3 is still negative 1 plus negative 1 to the power of 2 is positive 1 times 2 is 2 negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5 then minus the constant is this equal to 0 all right negative 1 positive 2 is positive 1 Positive 1 plus 5 is positive 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Therefore, this satisfies the equation. Hence, we say negative 1 is one of the roots of this cubic equation. Therefore, x plus 1 is one of the factors of this cubic equation. So let me show you how we are going to find the other factors. Already we have seen that negative 1 satisfies this equation. So we have our negative 1 here. We are going to write down the coefficient of this cubic equation, including the constant term. The leading coefficient is 1, 2, negative 5, and negative 6. We are going to drop down the leading coefficient, which is 1. So now what we are going to do, we are going to multiply this negative 1 with this positive 1. Negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. Then we write it here. Then we add these two together. This plus this is positive 1. We multiply this again with this positive 1. This time this is negative 1. We write it here on that negative 5. This plus this is negative 6. Again, we multiply this with that negative 6, and it will give us positive 6. If you add this together, you get 0. Hence, we are going to form a quadratic equation using these constant terms. This is the leading coefficient, this is the coefficient of the middle term, and this is the constant term. So we have x squared plus x minus 6. By factorization, x x we are going to think of two numbers which when we multiply them together we get neg negative 6 and when we add them together we get positive 1 that is the coefficient of the middle term and the numbers are 2 and 3 negative 2 and the positive 3 hence we have of 10 the remaining factors x minus 2 and x plus 3 the whole of this equal to zero. So now we are going to set each one of these factors to be equal to zero in order to find the real values of this cubic equation. If you set the first factor to be equal to zero, x plus one equals to zero, this implies that x is equal to negative one. Second factor, x minus two equals zero, this implies that x equals to positive 2. And the last factor, x plus 3 equals to 0. This implies that x is equal to negative 3. So these are the real solution of this cubic equation. So I would like to say thank you to Neha, who based in Delhi, India, for coming up with this wonderful idea. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content.